Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I will be showing you how you can use Microsoft Excel for your descriptive statistics, for your correlation statistics, and also for your regression analysis. So before you can achieve these three um, estimation parameters, you need to install a package known as Analysis Tool Pack on your Microsoft Excel. So if you want to install the Analysis Tool Pack into your Microsoft Excel, you need to click on File, then under your file, you need to scroll down. You scroll down to options. You click on options. And after that, it brings Excel options. You need to click on addings and also click on analysis tool pack. You usually find that under inactive application addings. You click on it and you also click on go. It brings an adding box. You click on analysis tool pack and you click on OK. So automatically, analysis tool pack is already installed in your Microsoft Excel. So if you want to check that, you just click on data and you check on the right corner of your um, icon box and you find data analysis. So you can click on the data analysis. So uh, it brings different tools that you can use for your estimation parameters. We have the ANOVA two-factor with replications. We have the ANOVA two-factor without replications. We have the correlation. We have the covariance, descriptives, exponential spunting. You also have the histogram, moving average, regression, sampling, t-test, and also uh, z-test. So these are analysis tools that you can achieve with um, Microsoft Excel. So the next thing for us is to um, install our data set, is to import our data set into uh, Microsoft Excel and try as much as possible to uh, get our descriptive statistics for the data set. Uh, get the uh, correlation and also the regressions. So how can you import data set into Microsoft Excel? You can import through, uh, you click on get data. You have the from file, from database, from Azure, from online sources, from other sources. So I'll be using from file and also from workbook. So data set is already on the system. So you click on, you find where data set is. This is my data set sample data set and click on import. So the data set will be imported into the Microsoft. You click on sheet. Oh. So if you want to edit your data set, you can click on transform data. If your data set is ready for analysis, you just click on load. Yeah. So I'm loading my data set into the Microsoft Excel. So these are data sets. We have a yearly data set, we have GDP, we have the market capitalization, all share index, number of these and VMT. So the next thing for us to do is to look at the descriptive statistics of this data set. So you click on data, you click on data analysis. So you click on descriptive statistics and you click on OK. So we have the input range. Under the input range, you just have to um, highlight all the data sets, including the name of the data set, the labels. You click on it and you click on labels in first row, and you also click on summary statistics, and you click on OK. So this is our descriptive statistics for all the variables. We have the mean, we have the standard error, the median, the mode, standard deviation, sample variance, cortices, skewness, range, minimum, maximum, sum, and count. So these uh, are the descriptive statistics of our data set. So you go back to your data set, you click on data analysis. Now I want to check for the correlation. You click on correlation, you click on OK. So our input range, we need to uh, put, uh, highlight all our data set, including the labels. You click on labels in first row, and you also click on OK. So this uh, correlation for our data set you have a MCAP to GDP, you have 96%. GDP to all share index, you have 74%. GDP to number of deeds, you have 58%. While GDP to volume of market transactions, you have 800%. So this is how to um, run your correlation statistics uh, in Microsoft Excel. So the last thing for us to do is to run our regression analysis. So let's go back to our data set. So you click on data analysis. You click on, you scroll down, you scroll down, 
click on regression and you click on OK. So uh, hypothetically, uh, we have an input Y range, we have input X range. So a Y is a dependent variable, Y X is uh, independent variables. So we will be making GDP as uh, independent variables. So you, you highlight GDP, you scroll down to be in the input Y range, Y in the input X range. So because you're considering um, multiple regression analytics, so we'll be considering market capitalization, all share index, number of these and volume of market transaction. So we will highlight all the independent variables. You click on labels. Uh, if you want residuals, standardized residuals, residual plots, line fit plots, you can click on it. If you want normal probability plot as well, you can click on it. So then you click on OK. So this is our result. On our result, we have the summary output. Under the summary output, we have the regression statistics such as uh, multiple R, R squares, adjusted R square, standard error observations. We also have the ANOVA table, which is the regression and residuals. We also have the coefficient um, statistics. We have the standard error. We have the T-stat and P-value. So basically, this is uh, the same thing that you that you are going to get if you using either SPSAs or EVUs or STATA. You have the model fit, um, model uh, fitness of uh, the model. And we also have the um, the fitness of the coefficient, such as the p-value, the t-stars, the standard error. So this is just uh, an example of how we can run um, a descriptive statistics, a correlation statistics, and um, a regression analysis in Microsoft Excel with the aid of analysis tool pack. So the first thing you need to do if you're planning to run any analysis for your dissertation is on Microsoft Excel is to install analysis tool pack in your Microsoft Excel and then you click on data and you have the data analysis on the right corner of your Microsoft uh, spreadsheet. And once you click on it, you'll be able to do a whole lot of um, data analysis estimations with your uh, Microsoft Excel. Thank you for watching.